Hello. We're on our way to see the Phantom of the Opera. There's Olivia. Hi. She has beautiful I'm hair. Oh, thank you. Look at her beautiful hair with her pearls in it. Like, that is just outstanding. I wanted to be Lizzie Bennett. <laughs> so I did. Love it. Um, so, we're on our way, and I will see you when we get to the theater. So Olivia and I kind of forgot that tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, and that downtown Milwaukee is just not a good idea today. There's no. <laughs> but I literally anywhere. bought these tickets in December <laughs> and forgot that St. Patrick's Day existed, and people are all driving like idiots and there's people jaywalking everywhere <laughs> and this is just this is why you get down here early folks in our seats there's olivia like it like the <laughs> there's the stage yay we're very high up <laughs> yeah. but we're in the middle so it's intermission yay um oh my gosh so good it's been so good the Phantom is incredible. Uh, oh, that's all. I've gotten a lot of chills so far. Goosebumps. He's so, he's so good. I will say, I didn't like that he was, he's like, kind of like an abusive boyfriend in this though. Like, he went really fast from super gentlemanly and he's like, he's not touching her at all unless she makes the first move. And then he goes and starts like, pulling her around by her hair. Yeah. I didn't like that. I was like, oh, uh-uh. Other than that, he was wonderful. <laughs> Raul sounds like somebody, and I just don't know. You don't know who. <laughs> uh, Christine's good, but Phantom's I better. think she'd be better as Cinderella. Oh, she'd be so good as Cinderella. She sounds like she's trying too much to do a princess voice, mm -hmm. and then she switches really fast into her operatic style. Mm -hmm. And then she's done with it, and she goes right back into having this, like, very nasally. I'm so excited for Masquerade, it's my favorite I, song. I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, the finale and Masquerade are my favorite songs. <laughs> yeah. And Wishing You Were Somehow Here Again. That's right, that's an act. That is Act two is so much better that than is act one. really is. <laughs> There's so many oh, better songs. It was really, really good. I normally don't like it. I really song liked much, it. Like, I was very impressed. I just, they're so good. Th they have really good stage chemistry. I really like them. Also, our Raul is just, he's so cute. He is. <laughs> he's so cute. He's like, he's just like, he's just like, he's like the way when he walked up and then he stopped and he's like, Christine, I love you. He put his arms out like a little boy who's going to Disney World. He was like, so cute. He's so happy. <laughs> See you after the show. Oh, we're going to be a mess. Yeah, we are. Prepare for tears. It's going to be like Hamilton and Waitress. <laughs> Every show we Every see show together. Every show we see together, we just cry. We just so. cry a lot. <laughs> Hello. We're out. Well, sort of. We're stuck in the parking lot. <laughs> Everyone's trying to leave at the same time, which is stupid. I feel like this is a common thing in my vlogs. Whenever I vlog in a parking like structure, we're stuck! It's not just with Olivia, but like if you watch my Anastasia vlog, we were stuck there too. Because <laughs> everyone leaves at the same time. But this nice man in the in my Anastasia vlog like let us in. Yeah, no one's letting us go. But I know. Now. So annoying. Um So Olivia and I, as tradition, are going to do um <laughs> a review? I'm still thinking about how Raul played the Tin Man. <laughs> Y'all, she has been losing it over this for the last like five okay, years. Okay, let me tell you. So, the whole time I'm watching the show, okay, I guess I'm gonna review Raul first. So, I, here we go. the whole time I'm watching the show, I'm like, why does, like, who does he sound like? He sounds like someone, and now it all makes sense. He sounds like Norbert Leo Butts yeah. from Wicked. He really does. When he's Bach. I was like, and then I read but the program. He, was, he wasn't, he was Fiero. Wait. No, who was? 
Norbert was Fiero. Really? <laughs> I don't think I'm thinking of the same person. <laughs> no, like Bach. Once, anyway, so this is what I'm getting at. He sounds, <laughs> he sounds like the original Bach and Wicked. I forgot his name at the moment, and I usually know this, and this is really embarrassing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a caption here of his name when I think of it. Anyway, so then I was reading the program, <laughs> and he played the Tin Man in Wizard of Oz, and I am shooketh. We're gonna get out of this parking structure in the next like year. <laughs> because, because spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Wicked, I'm sorry, but Bach is the Tin Man, and it all makes sense. He's still losing it over this. Oh my gosh! I don't know. Next, nice person. I would like to review. Is Quentin Oliver Lee? Because <laughs> he was amazing. He was the Phantom, and oh my God! Like definitely the most talented person in this show. Just saying. He was wonderful. He, I wrote the rest of his resume, so he's gonna be the Beast, <laughs> and he's also gonna be Javert. <laughs> he's so good as Javert. Oh, I know. Like, oh, he was so good. Like, I had goosebumps. The entire time, he was amazing. Um, Where does this person think they're going? There's so, over there. you already kind of heard our review of Christine Intermission. Like, she kind of had like a princessy vibe, she and was like very, very Cinderella. And Christine is not like, oh, I'm a princess. Like, they do say in Act One that she always has her head in the clouds, but other than that, like, she's she, very like. Th this Christine was kind of angry. Mm -hmm. And the, like, Sierra's Christine is always just like, oh, I'm gonna cry about everything, which is totally relatable. Yeah, but this I relate. <laughs> but she's like, you said you were going to protect me. And she kind of growled. I thought it was kind of oh, good, though. Goodness. Like, like well, this okay. She will fight you. Like, she will win. But the Phantom was also very abusive. Like, he started, like, pulling her around by her hair and throwing her on the I was ground. like, oh, no boy is gonna pull me around by my hair. In the finale, he <laughs> picks her up, chucks her on the bed, and then straddles her. Yeah. I was In front of Raul. Her fiance, <laughs> who is currently choking to death. It yeah. Was <laughs> It was a scene. I was kind of uncomfortable. And that scene, like, never makes me uncomfortable. No, it, and it's I was never like, uncomfy, except for what? today. <laughs> it was just, it was, I don't know. It was the. It was I got goosebumps. He did something with his hips, and I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this man doing? Get off of her. She is just a small dancer. She just wants to get married and have a good life. I and got. He's like, just doing whatever the Phantom was going to do. And, I got goosebumps, but I didn't cry because I think my contacts dried my eyes out. <laughs> We've literally went like 10 feet. Hey, we parked over there 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Let's take <laughs> we're literally back <laughs> to where we were. <laughs> like, I don't know who's running this, but they're not doing a good this job. Is, this is terrible. So anyways, that's our review of Phantom of the Opera. The Madame her. Jerry was really good. Oh yeah, she was. I she really was liked amazing. her. I really liked when she said, "Are you a dancer? <laughs> then dance." <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> there was one other line that he, someone added a line somewhere, and it was, it was so funny, and I can't remember for the life of me what it was. So I guess it wasn't that funny, but I remember everyone was just cracking up. You know, that's just the good thing about these shows. You can just, if there's a dull moment, just toss in a, a little one-liner and everything is better. Mm-hmm. So, that's oh. our review. Yeah, that's... And our vlog. Phantom on tour. Yeah. Good. See it if it's Go nice see it. You. And Quentin Oliver Lee is going places. I really hope he is. So, thank you for watching. Stay beautiful. Bye.